Hey guys, it's Acting Savvy and I just want to do a quick review on a deal that landed up being three months at Orange Theory Fitness. So I joined Easter weekend, March 31st, and I wanted to see like what the hype was about. Like I heard like a bunch of people just talking about how Orange Theory was so amazing and I decided to give it a try. I already was going to strength training classes whenever I could and Planet Fitness and then I wanted to see if Orange Theory was like really worth all the hype. So I went and then with um, the deal I got the first month it still like it's pricey um, it was 99 then you get this little heart rate monitor and this heart rate monitor will connect and then you'll see all the other people in the class their splat points which I'll explain in a little bit and um, yeah it's like a game almost to get as many splat points and then they say per class to try to get 12 but with Splat points is pretty much where your heart rate is in like the high orange which is like 88% and into the red zone which is 92% but that's like the average is around like 180 to 200 beats per minute around that. I know I'm not like exact on the numbers um, but some pros within the three months I was a member there was that with running, I feel like a big part of the classes is going on the treadmill for half the class and then the other half is strength training and there is like they do have rowers but I feel like that's very limited. Maybe you'll do like 100, 200, 500 meters depending on the circuit you're doing. Um, but I did feel like after three months that my body was kind of getting used to the workout a little bit. I feel like with me, I have to always change up my workouts or else my body like just gains weight because I can't just do cardio at Planet. That was a mistake I made in the past. Um, so I started, you know, learning strength training more and incorporating that into my workouts. I kind of felt the same with Orange Theory because I felt like I kind of learned like I hope I don't get canceled for kind of spilling the tea on Orange Theory a bit. I feel like their theory is you get your, like, so you're running or you're power walking on a higher incline, you get your heart rate up to a really, really high number, and then you slow down after your heart rate stays super high for about a minute. And then you go back up to a super high heart rate, then you go back down. So I felt like that was what a lot of Orange Theory is. I might be wrong, like I'm not saying I'm right, but that's my observation. So I kind of realized I could just go to any gym anywhere that has a treadmill and incorporate that where I get my heart rate up to like 180, 190, like for me that'll be like running six and a half miles per hour and then going back down to a recovery, which is their recovery is um, down to two miles per hour and then eventually the base is three and a half miles per hour. Um, and then you walk there for about 90 seconds, then you go back up. So I definitely felt like I learned their theory so I didn't feel like spending after the intro deal um it was about 129 a month if I'm not mistaken which is really expensive but the reason why I did it was because my work schedule was so busy and I wanted to go work out at least four to five times a week I would I wouldn't use like for the 129 membership it would be two classes a week but oftentimes I'd be on the road and then when I see the nearest Planet Fitness I have the card where it's like 20 bucks a month where you could go to any Planet Fitness I'll just force myself to go there 
but some days especially before like I would substitute teach I would love to just get my workout done it's a block away from me but it was super super pricey and that's when I decided to cancel when I realized that I'm learning pretty much the whole system which is good um, but for the price it was a little and then another con is that when classes fill up you could have like 20 to 25 people in a class with one coach and even though like my coaches were very attentive I feel like that's way too many people for one coach I feel like there should be like a limit to maybe 10 12 like max for one coach because I feel like the coach would be a little like I know they're doing great but if there's two like okay there's people like there's 10 people on the treadmills 10 people doing strength training it's a little overwhelming for the coach most likely I know they learn they get used to it but still I feel like that was a little bit of a concern of mine because when I would try different classes with class pass or you know any other system I would get like a class of maybe five six seven and then the coach would be able to watch and see if we're you know doing the weights wrong maybe getting too high of a heart rate running on the treadmill so I feel like that could be a definite con to it um another thing that could be a possible con I didn't mind this but um they did play a lot of electronic more modern music so maybe certain people who don't like that kind of music might not want to be stuck working out to that for an hour so it's very like the music is very like like millennials and up would enjoy it like but i feel like maybe people who prefer rock or prefer prefer like sorry I'm messing up my words but prefer more of um a like rock based workout might not appreciate the choice of music at least that's what the coaches I had chosen but yeah I feel like it was definitely very EDM based pop music and yeah I feel like they did have a lot of incentives for people to keep on going they had like if you complete 12 workouts in a month you'll be entered to win an airline gift card or they'll have different events like a celsius sampling but I was a little bummed with the celsius sampling because as a brand ambassador I would expect to see a few different flavors and someone asking people if they would like a sample but all the celsius sampling really was was one can of orange celsius and then i had to ask the lady for a sample and she kind of like did not want to give me a sample so i'm just like how do you call that a sampling event when you don't even want to give a sample but besides that i had a really good experience people there were very friendly but i feel like definitely you're like people who tend to like you know gain weight if they follow the same type of workout routine might not benefit from this I am one of them I am one of those people who can't stick to like the same type of workout all the time because I know they do change up like the strain training portion but I felt like my body was starting to get used to the full routine um, but otherwise, if you're looking for a place where it's friendly for all levels and it has upbeat music, you feel like you're kind of, you know, at a dance party running. Um, that was really cheesy, but um, that would be a really good place for you to start. And they have really cool events and you'll be able to meet a lot of people and have a community. So I feel like I'll definitely do like class packages not necessarily a membership but definitely if you're interested in orange theory it really does um help i feel like the biggest pro i've gotten from being an orange theory member for three months was that i am able to run 
a lot faster for a longer endurance of time. So I feel like that's the biggest pro. But otherwise, feel free to um, check out your local Orange Theory Fitness.